Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading. We are in the heart of Sagittarius season. So I hope you're enjoying your season and happy birthday to all of you that are celebrating a birthday this week or have recently celebrated a birthday. I hope you've had a wonderful time. So let's see, we are just come off the, this energy is for the 6th to the 12th of December. So coming off the solar eclipse, the new moon in Sagittarius. So some big shifts and changes, new beginnings coming in. Let's see what's coming in for you guys, because this is in your sign. So it's going to have a big impact on you and then heading in further into your season. We shall see what is coming in for Sagittarius. I feel excited even just tuning into the energy for you, Saggy. So just want to shuffle one more time. I just have to wait for the energy to feel right to get the right reading. Okay, so let's go. What have we got for Sagittarius? The two of swords. Okay, hesitation, uncertainty about stepping into something. But here we have, here you are. This is your card in the deck, the major arcana, the temperance energy. So coming in super strong is you. Maybe you're very... Um, unsure about something, but this is about something that could potentially could be a new goal that's coming in here. The Queen of Pentacles, something that's aligning you and bringing balance. It may require a little bit of patience, but look at this, the Ace of Cups. Something beautiful is birthing here that uh, brings more flow. Let's hold these up for you. The Queen of Pentacles, fantastic energy coming in next to this. I don't know what this Two of Swords is because it's kind of interesting. This is hesitation. It might be your intuition's telling you one thing and your mind's telling you something else and you're sort of caught in the middle like, should I really be doing this? But this feels right. It feels really good with this temperance energy coming through. This is you. It's more aligned to who you are. The temperance card in general aligns your intuition, your soul and spirit to your human body, your thoughts, your mind, your body, your human reality. So it's kind of like with the Queen of Pentacles next to it, this is saying this is something that could bring stability uh, on an internal level, you know, something that you can rely upon. On. So this is a good decision. Whenever the Queen of Pentacles comes in, it's very practical, pragmatic, could be someone around you like that. If they are around you, then they're kind of showing you or leading the way in terms of the decision making process. And this can be around also any sort of material resource. I feel like in your world, spirit's giving you a very clear message to align you to an energy or to some sort of idea or a feeling that you're getting intuitively. And you're kind of looking around your world going, uh, well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Uh, and this could be related to money, career, home, health, you know, it's a sense of aligning you. And I don't feel like, I feel like it's just more like I want a little bit more time to kind of consider, think about this, even look at it, even though it feels big, it feels strong and it feels good. So uh, because we have this energy of the Ace of Cups, which is beautiful, you know, it's an energy of something uh, amazing and beautiful is birthing with his ace of cups it could just be a new feeling that's coming through for you and you kind of like is this something that can be long lasting or that can stay for a while because the queen of pentacles suggests that it can so whatever this new feeling is it's it's saying yeah, this, this could be a stayer. But the Ace of Cups is a beautiful energy. It can bring joy. It can bring happiness. It can bring just a sense, it, like I said, it can be a release of emotion as well. And it can also be, it feels like something beautiful is being gifted to you on a heart level, which is actually really nice. So that's why I'm not sure why there's this hesitation to step into it, other than I think it's just different to where you perhaps thought you were aligned or the path that you were heading on. So, uh, but it only, it doesn't, it, yeah, it uh, just feels like are you ready to dip your toe back in with something or to connect back in uh, with this energy because it, it definitely feels good. So I don't think you'll be in this state of hesitation for too long. <laughs> but, you know, everybody's different. We've all got our own process. So let's pull a message from the universe for Sagittarius. So a little itchy eye for a second, Saggy. Okay, so... Message for Sagittarius from the universe. Let's split the deck. They're not jumping for you, which is okay. We've got the presence of love will always cast out fear. <laughs> That's very apt considering that what we're seeing here with these cards is there's love here with the Ace of Cups, a little bit of fear and apprehension with the Two of Swords, and this is we can see that 
this is the bigger energy that, like we were saying, this energy of love is going to cast out any kind of energy where you feel like, oh, I'm not sure about that. Because I feel like it's just fear about stepping into a new energy, fear of the new. We've got G. Hobsba, Hob, oh, I can never say this one, Hob, Hobja. <laughs> anyway, I like this little fella. He looks scary. But what he does is see his two hands there, they're like, um, like going like that. They're like landing strips. Uh, they're like the airport landing strips that are like, boo, this is the way you're landing here. This is where things are going. It helps you with the direction. So even though he looks cranky and scary and he can be that sort of energy that kind of, you know, like the grumpy teacher that says, not that, don't do it that way, do it this way and comes in and kind of sort of steers you in the right direction. So it's kind of that energy. So if there's something, it can be uh, – yeah, it doesn't necessarily come in the friendliest and happiest form, but it doesn't come in a nasty form either. So so there might be people around you that are just, uh, you know, <laughs> perhaps just pushing you in the di- right direction and this energy just is like stay on the path, stay on the path, stay true to what you're feeling, stay here and uh, don't listen to those voices of hesitation. So it's very encouraging energy that's coming through here. And you might find that there's opportunities in your life, people or situations might kind of help you step into that or to really stay focused with something. We have the horse. Okay, so look, there's this is the horse and the oyster. Beautiful. I love these two cards together. You can see how compatible they are just with the colours. And the horse is all about the direction you're going in. Look at the crescent moon in its third eye. This is all about trusting your intuition, trusting that sense of, you know, we've got it here. <laughs> in the two of swords as well. So it's kind of like something in your rational mind is something, your intuition is saying something else. Really trust this. This is the right direction that's coming in with the horse. And the oyster is a beautiful energy of something is about to open up for you and you and the oyster is about to reveal its pearl. And I feel like the pearl is very much connected to this ace of cups here. So uh, the oyster energy, you can see it's got a little, uh, it's vibrating. These little energetic spikes are coming out. It's the sense it's emanating an energy that you will be feeling intuitively. So I feel like this is something inside of you. The oyster, it represents water. So the horses, like this path and direction is grounding down. It's an earth energy. But the water energy is something that's deep inside of you intuitively or emotionally, uh, how you're feeling. And we've got some feelings and intuition coming in really strongly so I feel like this is the week where you might feel that really really strongly and feel kind of guided very guided down a path and the oyster energy is just absolutely beautiful when something opens up or you're opening up to something that is going to be very beautiful and it's time to release this and show the world and sometimes the oyster is your beautiful gifts it's something that's been there and growing for a long time growing 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 and when the time's right it's ready to show so it's like either something is ready to be shown or released or something inside of you is ready to open up to something beautiful. So it's a gorgeous energy to come through. That's why I love those two cards together for you, Sagittarius. Very, very beautiful and magical and special. <laughs> so let's get a message from the Ascended Masters for you. So really, really trust this direction that you are, it, you are being drawn to. Really, really trust this message for Sagittarius from the Ascended Masters. They really have to pop. <laughs> Some of them are trying to bring messages to you, and this might be part of what's happening. But here we have uh, Moses has come out. Take charge of the situation. And this is Moses parting the sea. And, you know, this is, you know, a great feat. <laughs> this required a lot of focus, a lot of faith, a lot of don't like a lot of belief as well. So this is where something might seem like an insurmountable obstacle or something like I can't do that. And it's like, yes, you can if you believe. So the word for that is yes, take charge of the situation, but also believe that you can do this. So yeah, fantastic energy coming through. Let's pull. So very, uh, yeah, a lot of self-belief, inspiration, uh, really being called out of a comfort zone perhaps for some of you. I feel like there's too many there. 
but they're actually saying this is right. Okay. <laughs> it says, my income is constantly increasing. I begin now today to open myself to ever increasing prosperity. Lovely. These are the affirmation cards. I accept my uniqueness and we're seeing that with the oyster. There is no competition and no comparison for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. And this Ace of Cups could actually be related to self-love as well. You know, it just, it is love on a pure level. It says, loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. Beautiful. My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself. I love others and others love me. So what I'm kind of getting a lot from this with this oyster energy and the Ace of Cups is that something opening up here is showing you something beautiful even about yourself that you are going, okay, a shift of understanding of who you are because you're coming in as the temperance and going, you know what, I actually, you know, opens you up to for more self-love. There is no blame. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We're all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness we have. Beautiful. And I'm just going to pull a little charm to finish this one off for you, Saji. And I think part of this release and this healing is releasing that blame. Uh, beautiful. We have this. This is the first, like, this one's come out this week, this one. I haven't seen it before, but it's come in. And it can be two things. If you turn it one way, it's like a peace symbol and the other way, it's like a little cross. And it's like there's been, what I got was there was a cross to bear for you. I mean, there was something that felt like a cross to bear. And now it's kind of, <laughs> what I'm being shown is this really silly image of suddenly up this cross has been transformed into this kind of Broadway musical with lights and action and it's like ta-da now we're going to turn into something really creative and amazing and we're going to shine and we're going to transform it into something and we never really uh, expected or it was very unexpected never thought we could make this of that and uh, it's just a very very funny image they're showing me like ta-da and it's kind of very theatrical. Some of you might be into that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, it just, I feel like something in general is just that this cross to bear has been transmuted into something else that you kind of unexpected, but feels uh, actually releases a lot of the burden from it and makes it fun again, light. So it makes, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the energy <laughs> Sagittarius, it's kind of funny that may ha have or may not have some sort of significance for you. I don't know, but let me know in the comments if it does. And yeah, I, I just feel a lot of joy and release and happiness with this, which is why I'm kind of smiling and laughing at what they're showing me. Um, but anyway, so that's it, Sagittarius. Very beautiful energy birthing. I feel like this is all to do with you and your own I, a sense of self and identity and who you are in the world, which is fabulous. And I feel like there's a sense of being open to a great, a bigger version of who you are or more authentic version of who you are perhaps. And just accepting that, you know, for who, you for who you are. So it's a beautiful energy to come in and releasing some of those things that might have, I feel like this cross might have been related to that, that blame or I didn't do this well enough or I should have done this. I didn't take that opportunity or that was wrong of me to do this. And it's kind of like, you know what, we're human. We all make mistakes. We all do things and we all miss opportunities and we all get stuck in our own um, dramas and issues. And it's kind of like saying release that because there's something new that they're wanting you to kind of connect to, this beautiful energy. So, you know, easier said than done, but the energy I'm feeling feels really light and beautiful, which is nice. So... That's it, Sagittarius, and I feel like this is, you know, again, moving us into 2022. So the 2022 yearly forecasts are out. So if you'd like to go and see more of what's coming in for you in 2022, the link for that will be in the description box below. Love it if you come over. Very comprehensive forecast coming in, uh, looking at all sorts of things and the astrology, the tarot, overall energies, focusing in on certain things, career, money, love, health, and going through month by month. So that's all in the yearly forecast. Podcast. Love it if you come over. The link is in the description box below. But if this is where we're leaving each other, Sagittarius, I think this is a really great week for you guys. So enjoy it. And yeah, please like, subscribe, share, usual spiel, leave a comment <laughs> because that lets YouTube know that you appreciate this content and helps with the growth of the channel. Thanks, Sagi.